Following up from my recent handstand workshop, here's a little prep video you can do that will help you get to a split or straight handstand. Here, we're warming up the wrist, fingers spread nice and wide, just moving the spine in some thoracic rotations here. You want to really spread those fingers wide. You wanna get into the finger joints, really finding protraction and retraction with the scapula and making sure you're allowing your tailbone to tuck under and the core is on. We're now going to move it into some first knuckle raises, fingers spread nice and wide, the thumbs are up and you're lifting to those first knuckles. You'll see I've still got my tailbone tucked under and my shoulders, elbows and wrists are stacked. Give them a little bit of a roll out after that. We've got one more to go through in this wrist sequence. If you need more, please have a look at the video I have attached, which will give you a little bit more time on your wrists as well. We're now going to externally rotate the shoulders. Again, we're looking for a tuck of the tailbone, bring the knees back if you like, and potentially up into high plank. And we're holding this position. Please drop your knees down if you need to. And we start to open the front of the wrists. Hold this for as long as you can. And when you're done, come down, shake out the wrists. This is more an advanced version um, of a reverse push-up. So I'm on the backs of my hands, bending the elbows, coming down into a push-up. This is something that over time your wrists will strengthen. Of course, you can stay in a tabletop push-up or over time the knees will come back. Um, or for those of you that are working into that higher stage, you can of course come onto your toes for a push-up. But again, not necessary. It's just something you can work on and strengthening those wrists. All right, here we have our little locomotion and cartwheels. We've got our capoeira cartwheel here, nice straight, strong arms, and we're looking for compression. Lift up the hips, get them over the shoulders, and float the feet. If you'd like to move into any other form of cartwheels, I've just gone a full split cartwheel here. Arms nice and straight, facing one direction. As you cartwheel, turn to face that same direction when you finish. Make sure you use both sides because we can fall out of a handstand anyway. All right, taking to the wall, this is our handstand hold. You can see you don't want the hips to fall in like this. Squeeze your glutes, nice, flat, long spine. So think of drawing the sternum and pubic bone together. Again, no collapsing into the wall. Bring the pubic bone away from the wall and hold your handstand here. Um, we don't want to collapse in. You'll see that I've brought my pubic bone away from the wall. Lengthen the legs, squeeze the bum. It is a chest to wall handstand. And as you can see, I've just got a little bit of lift here away from the wall, but just work on keeping your feet on the wall for as long as you can and holding that destination to build the strength in your shoulders. All right, after doing a few rounds, say three of those chest to wall handstands, you might now start to practice with some kick ups. So coming to a sprinter squat and we start to lengthen through the hamstrings first. This is always a really nice warm up for the hamstrings. Highly recommend doing this first before kicking up into any form of handstand. I'd go five on the right and five on the left um, and shooting in one side will most definitely fill are easier than the other as well, but really important to warm up those hammies and you wanna get those hips over the shoulders. If you're feeling comfortable with that and you're comfortable with your cartwheel, you can start to go into these little kick ups. So I'm keeping my back leg straight and off the floor. And as I come through, I'm kicking up and trying to hit the same consistency every single time. So we really want to get a nice open shoulder. That will be a separate video. Um, and as you work through, I'm trying to hit the same handstand every single time. It doesn't have to go super high. We're just trying to get consistency uh, with our handstand. You'll see now that I am transitioning and switching legs mid-air. This is a more advanced version. Once you get your kick ups and you become familiar with that, then feel free to have a play with this switch leg transition. Uh, you'll be pretty cooked after those, but they feel super fun.
Okay, lastly, working towards our straight line handstand. We don't want to have a curved spine. See how my spine is curved? I'm going to squeeze my glutes, tuck my tailbone under, draw the sternum and pubic bone together. My eyes are on the ground for balance and slowly I'm going to tuck my head. Everything is on. I'd love to hear how you go on your handstand journey. Thanks for your time.